Hi, this is Helen and this is my first video in a series of quick wins that uh, that you can implement in your business by automating your tech in some way. Um, so my plan here is to very quickly give you a tip which will make you um, hopefully more money but definitely save you time and save you some effort. So let's dive straight in. This particular one is um, how to automatically send out your blog posts in your email marketing. Um, big time saver there. So I'm going to show you Mailer Lite, um, but you can do this in most platforms. It's normally called something like an RSS campaign, something like that. So if you search for RSS um, on your platforms, help files, whatever email marketing platform you're using, you'll probably find something like this. Okay, so this is Mailer Lite. This is the new version. Um, I've just created a new email campaign that I'm going to send out to my list. Um, as I said, new version, but the classic version looks very very similar and it works in the classic version as well so if you imagine this is a um, email that I'm going to send out to my list um, what I can do is uh, if you look over to the side um, we've got a few boxes there with RSS at the front I'm going to pick the the first one you just drag it over to here Okay, and then what that will do is go over to your blog and grab your um, blog posts um, that are published on your blog. Uh, right, so we need to tell it where the blog is, don't we? So if I click on that, so I'm going to show you how to do this for WordPress uh, just because it's easy. Um, for any other platform that you may use for your blog, just go look at the help files for your RSS feed. So for WordPress, oops, let's put that in here. Okay, uh, for WordPress, it's just your URL slash feed. And then if we Click the enter button like I said any other platform you'll need to find out what the feed is uh, this is an old blog for me I've moved over to speedy digital uh, but you can see it's pulled through my last three blog posts just there there we go um, and then you can save that and you can see that's a block in any newsletter that you might want to send. You can also add them to automated newsletters so you could get those to go out um, every week, every month or whatever. You may need the paid plan for that. Um, it may not be available on the free plan, just a word of warning there. Um, but you can see it's a massive time saver compared to you doing that manually. Um, you don't have to just have an email with that in it. You can, um, if I scroll down beyond that block, um, you've got all the usual blocks that you would have in a newsletter, so um, you could put in other information, links to your products, um, anything at all you want to in there. You just pick the block over on the left hand side, drag it over and um, you can have whatever you want in that email. So, yep, yeah, big time saver there if you would like to use that. Hope that's been helpful and I'll see you in the next quick tips video. Bye. For more tips, templates and checklists, go to my free business toolkit, which you can find at speedydigital.co.uk slash courses.